The true proportion, P, of people who give a favorable rating to Congress is 8%, with a margin of error of 1.5%. Describe this statement using absolute value equation. Okay. So, first things first is that whenever we are dealing with actual uh, word problems or math problems that have to do with percents, the first thing we have to do is we have to get it out of a percent, okay? When we do math with percent values, um, we can't actually put the percent in for calculations. Literally, the term percent, fun fact, is based off of the penny. Literally, per one cent, right? And in order to make a dollar, you need a hundred pennies. So per one cent was one out of 100 because you need 100 pennies in order to make one dollar. This is the conversion factor for any time that you would like to take a percent out of, uh, a number. So here, 8% literally means 8 times 1 over 100. The percent is this uh, conversion. So basically, you're always going to be dividing by 100. This is the same thing as saying 8 over 100. And when you are dividing by 100, the easy way of doing that is to just move the decimal, wherever the decimal is, you just move it over to the left two times. So here, here is my, you know, imaginary decimal over here. I just have to move the decimal over one, two spots. So this 8% is the same thing as 0 0.08. And that is the first number that I'm going to be using for this calculation. So let's try to do the same thing, 1.5%. I have to get it out of percent notation, and they gave me a decimal here, so I just move it over to the left twice, so one and two. So this would be 0 0.015, and this would be the same thing as saying 1.5 times one over 100, percent one over 100. So fun fact, it's a good party starter if you want to talk about what the word percent means. Yay. Okay. But anywho, so these are your two numbers that you're going to be working for. Okay. So they're saying that, you know, these people, the, the proportion of people who give a favorable rating to Congress is 8%. So that's a, a standard number in this problem. So it's 8%. However, there's always error, right? There's a margin of error. And they're telling us that the error is 1.5%, which is 0 0.015 in mathematical terms. So if the error was an increase, right? If the error was too high, that means that it would be the 0 0.08 plus the 0 0.015. And if the error was decrease in favor, it would be 0 0.08 minus 0 0.015, because they didn't specifically tell us that, um, you know, the error was an overshoot or an undershoot. They just said that there was an error. Okay, so the true proportion of these people is going to fall into the realm of this. So now let's start writing it in terms of greater than or less than. So if we put a, the proportion of people, right, it could be that this would be the high number, right, because we're adding, and this would be the lower number because we're subtracting. So it makes sense that this, since we're overshooting the error, it would be greater than. So this would be on this side. And remember the alligator with the teeth is always going to the greater number. So it could be greater than or equal to P, right? This would be greater than or equal to P. And this would be on the lower number of things. So this would be the 0 0.08 minus 0. 
And let me just give myself some a little bit more room. 0 0.015. And now that's saying that P is the greater one out of this. So this is the lower margin of error, and this is the higher margin of error. Okay. Now, all we have to do is basically we just have to put it into absolute value notation. Now keep in mind that remember an absolute value notation is always going to um, give you out the positive answer, right? So this is, this is splitting up the answer already for you. Now we've done tons of problems in which the lower answer, remember the secret lower answer for absolute values are always never given. Remember back when we did questions where it was like X minus A equals eight, and then we broke this up into being equal to eight and negative eight, they never show you the negative eight. This is the same exact idea here. They're never going to show you the lower number. So if you're putting it in absolute value notation, you are not including the lower limits. You are only including the higher limits. So now we're just going to take this into consideration. Now we just have to get this in absolute value notation. Okay. Um, the favorable rating goes with the true proportion, right? The margin of error should be what you're setting this as. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say P has to be less than or equal to 0 0.08 plus 0 0.015. I'm going to just subtract that Congress rating so that I can put it in my absolute value because that's part of the true proportion. The error is the only thing that isn't, you know, true. That's the error. So this would be P minus 0 0.08, which is greater than or equal to 0 0.015. And now all we have to do, because technically we still have to include the lower limit. So if I strip this away, I have to put the absolute value sign. And this is the end. This is your answer. So it's P, that true proportion, minus 0 0.08, that's the percentage for Congress, is just at that margin of error. It's less than or equal to 0 0.015. And that is your answer. Guys, what did you think? Hopefully this helped you. Let me know in the comments if it did. Um, like and subscribe. And I hope that I'm helping you out. If you want to check out the full absolute value functions playlist, you can go see that in the description. And I hope you guys have a great day. Happy studying. And I'll see you guys all in the next question. Bye-bye.